Give us a flavour of who's going where. It is the most extensive programme that there has ever been for ministers for St. Patrick's Day, Colette. Of the 15 ministers of Cabinet grade, 14 of them have already or are going to be travelling abroad for St. Patrick's Day. The only one left behind, Helen McEntee, who of course is still on maternity leave as a minister without portfolio. And then of the 20 ministers of state that there are, 19 of those are going to be travelling abroad as well or have already done so. The only one staying behind, uh, the junior minister at the Department of Health, Mary Butler. Throw in the Count Corla of the Dáil, the Cahirlac of the Shannon, and indeed the Attorney General, Ross Afan and you have 36 representatives of the Irish state going abroad uh, for St. Patrick's Day. The biggest programme that there's ever been, taking in, of course, North America, South America, Africa, the Far East, Australia, and, of course, the Pacific Rim of Japan and Korea as well. And now uh, the United States, of course, remains the most popular destination for ministers. Eight ministers will be going to various parts of the United States. Of course, that will include the Peter Leo Varadkar, who'll be travelling to Washington tomorrow for three days of events that culminate in a meeting at the White House with President Joe Biden on Friday, where he is likely to be announcing a trip to Washington in the coming month. There are several ministers, however, who are already in the United States, including Dara Bryan, the housing minister, who is in Georgia, Higher Education and Justice Minister Simon Harris, who is in San Francisco for the weekend, and the Thonishta, Michal Martin, who is in New York for a series of events to mark the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement, some of those involving Bill and Hillary Clinton. Now, it is expected that Joe Biden is going to be announcing a visit to Ireland uh, when he has that visit with Leo Varadkar on Friday. Last year's Patrick's Day was largely handed over to Ukraine. The Irish government, of course, famously asking other uh, countries to light their landmarks blue for Ukraine instead of green for St. Patrick's Day. This day, Ireland very much, very much taking a command, command of the holiday again, trying to promote the fact that it has now spent 50 years as a member of the European Union and 100 years as a member of the United Nations.